Okay, uh, good evening. This is uh, Professor David J. De Las Reyes. Okay, it's uh, September 29, 2023. The time is uh, 11.13 p.m. Okay, uh, my <coughs> topic for this discussion will be it's a continuation of my college algebra and this will now be lesson number 77. The topic is still under a system of linear equations, uh, worded problems or verbal problems. So actually, uh, we are almost done with uh, the system of linear equations because the problems or the worded problems are actually of different kinds. So uh, I try to I try to what you call this uh, lecture on you for each type of problem. So actually, uh, distance problem, consecutive numbers problem, okay, mixture problem, I uh, will do it one at a time. So okay, you will not be hard up, what they call this, uh, absorbing the concept. Because for each uh, problem, or for each uh, type of problem under linear equations, the concepts or the formulation of the algebraic equation are actually different. So actually it's a very, very variable uh, thing to uh, do this absurd. Okay, let, let's proceed. The topic for tonight will be college algebra, lesson number 77. And we are almost done, okay? Uh, I might, uh, what you call this, uh, my next topic maybe on long video format discussion will be maybe trigonometry. I will go with trigonometry. Okay. So for those of you who are in, in the high school or uh, planning to going up to college, you have a background on trigonometry. Okay. College algebra, lesson number 77. And the title of the topic is application of linear equations. Okay. Subtopic. Mixture problem. Uh, it is a solution of linear equations that involves mixture problem. Okay, I'll let's try to bring out the concept on how to attack problems under mixture problems. Uh, there are concepts which are needed to be memorized before we, we could attack problems on the mixture problem. Okay, for every solution, there will be a concept that we will be following, okay, and, and they are not actually the same. Like in the distance problem, the, that's a different story because uh, distance is equal to rate times time. And under mixture, you cannot use that uh, concept, right? So that's why I discuss every topic uh, in every, what do you call this, uh, session. So you will not be hard up accepting the concept. Okay, let's try to bring out the concept. Concept uh, on the mixture problem is this. Uh, a first component plus a second component will be equal to a final mixture. <coughs> this is an equation. So actually to simplify uh, on the method and how, and how to absorb it, it will just be something like this, you know. Okay, it is something like that. It is something like if we got, we got a mixture A, okay, we add that to a mixture B, what will come out will be a mixture C, Mixture C. There is a certain percentage here, and there is a certain percentage here, and the outcome could still be a different percentage. Okay? So if you try to see it, it falls under mixture problem, right? Mixture meaning a mixture, we are adding two things together to produce a mixture. That's why the problem is a mixture problem. It means that mixture A with a certain percentage plus mixture B with a certain percentage, if we try to add it up, okay, it should be equal to a mixture C with another final percentage. That's uh, the meaning of this equation here. Okay, uh, you got it? It's easy to visualize if we try to get a diagram of it. Mixture A with a certain percentage 
mixture B with a certain percentage should be equal to mixture C with a certain percentage. So this is actually chemical engineering, you know. Uh, this should be a problem for chemical engineers, like in the so-called mixture of uh, all that uh, still we are using, okay. Uh, the top portion of the aircraft carrier is actually a steel maybe in which uh, the designers of the what they call this uh, aircraft carrier will be using a very good mixture of the top portion of the aircraft carrier because uh, uh, this is where the aircrafts are actually you know touching down so it's a mass that they know the percentage of uh, what mixture that uh, that is added to bring out that component uh, this uh, percentage are actually very important okay so if they try to use a steel uh, a top a, a, an aircraft carrier for sure they know the percentage of uh, any mixture that is added to pro, uh, to to outcome that uh, steel out of the aircraft carrier so actually it's a problem of chemical engineering okay uh, next one uh, to get the first component, first component, uh, because first component is a quantity. Second component is also a quantity. Q sub 2. And uh, the final mixture will be another quantity with the subscript 3. Meaning Q1 plus Q2 is equal to Q3. But in the computation of Q1, Q2, and Q3, this will be the equation. Okay. Percent number one, percentage number one, times uh, the amount on quantity number one, plus, okay, percent number two, times the amount of quantity number two, should be equal to the final percent, okay, times the total final mixture. So, if we want this one to be 100%, you put this one to be 100%. Right? If you want to be to, to be stronger, you can make this 200 percent It depends on what you want. Right? So material things are actually uh, made like this when, when they try to what call this mix it uh, on the so-called metallurgical process that is in the foundry thing because if this is the foundry, they will try to pour out uh, mixture number one. Okay, they will try to pour out mixture number two. Then they will try to cook this one to a certain temperature so that they will mix. So if they know what will be the percentage of quantity number one and quantity number two, for sure. Okay, they know that the final mixture will be a strong mixture. That's how they do it. Okay, uh, engineering wise, okay. Okay, let's proceed. So in the computation of mixture problems, these are the concepts that is needed. First component plus second component is equal to the final mixture. And in the computation of Q1, Q2, and Q3, it is a percentage, okay, that you want, times the quantity you want, percentage that you want, quantity that you want. So you will attain what will be the percentage that uh, the outcome will come out right so if you want to be strong okay you know the percentage you know the percentage of course when you try to what is uh, uh, cook it through the foundry right you try to cook this one at a certain temperature the outcome for sure you will know that it will be a strong outcome okay so this is a problem of uh, chemical engineering. Okay, let's proceed with an example problem on how to apply this concept. A metallurgist is making 10 kilos of an alloy from metal A, am I still on camera? And metal B. Uh, metal A contains 25% silver and metal B contains 20% silver. Uh, the metals are different, but uh, the specifications on the percentage of silver is given. 25% silver and 20% silver. 
The problem is asking how many kilos of each material should be added? Should be should should he add or should he mix? Okay? So that the alloy will be 25 22% silver. So meaning to say <coughs> uh we got the outcome to be 10 kilos and he wanted this to be 20 22% silver. So the problem is asking how many kilos of A may be and how many kilos of uh, metal B may be to be added. Okay, so that when you add this one, the outcome will be 22% silver and the total outcome will be 10 kilos. Okay, as simple as that one, if you use the diagram. Okay, uh, let's try to bring out the solution. Uh, verbal problems, we need the representation, right? Uh, representation or label, L-A-B-E-L, okay? I, I don't want label, uh, I want representation. Uh, we need X to be equal to the kilos of metal A in which the percent silver is 25%, okay? Coming from A, I, I will put X here, right? And since the total outcome should be 10 kilos, if this is X, okay, uh, this B here should be 10 minus X, right? X kilos, the final weight mixture will be 10 kilos, right? So if this is X and this is 10, mixture B should be 10 minus X. So if you try to add this one, what will come out will be 10 kilos, right? So 10 minus X is the kilos of metal B, which is 20% silver. And what is 10? Uh, 10 kilos is the kilos of alloy of 22% silver, meaning <coughs> the outcome will be 22% silver. Um, metal A, where's metal A? This is 25%. And metal B, it is 20%. Okay? So meaning to say 25% of A plus 20% of B. Okay? The metallurgist wanted it to be exactly 22%. And if you try to compute for the quantity, it should be 10 kilos. Okay? So it's easy to visualize the solution of this if you, we go to the graph. Diagram, right? So if we now try to bring out the algebraic equation, okay, because in here we can formulate the algebraic equation already. And that algebraic equation is actually a linear equation. Okay, so <coughs> formulating now the algebraic equation, okay, this is mixture A, okay, this is mixture B. If we try to add it up, the metallurgist wanted it to be 10 kilos, the outcome, the quantity, and the concentration is 22%. So our algebraic equation is actually this one already. We got it. Uh, it's easy to do this one because we base this one on this diagram and this concept here. Okay? So the only unknown now is X. Okay? It is a linear equation in one unknown. Okay, solving for x now. Uh, this is now by using our knowledge of the fundamental operations, simplification process. It's an easy one now, right? But uh, the main concentration of the problem is, is in the formulation of this. Because if you are wrong with this, even though your simplification is correct, the outcome will be wrong, right? So assuming this is correct, solving now for x. 0.25 times x will be 0.25x, 0.20 times 10 will be 2, 0.20 times x will be negative 0.20x, a plus and a minus will be minus, and this should be equal to 10 times uh, 0.22 will be 2.2. Combining similar terms, 0.25 minus 0.20 will be point ne uh, 0 0.05x, and this should be equal to. It should be 2.2. Uh, we put this one on the right, so this will be negative 2. 
0.05x should be equal to, this is 0.2. To solve for x without the 0 0.05, uh, we must have to multiply the equation here by 1 over 0 0.05. Right? So 0 0.05x times 1 over this is 0 0.05 cancel with this. Uh, left hand side will be x. The right hand side, it is 0.2 times 1 over 0 0.05 is actually 0.2 over 0 0.05 and x will be equal to 4 kilos. Therefore, 10 minus x will be equal to 6 kilos. So, the answer here is uh, A here should be 4 kilos. Okay. B here should be 6 kilos. So, the final outcome will be 10 kilos, okay, uh, with this, uh, this one is 22%. The outcome will be 22%. Uh, the next one is 20%. 20% of 6 kilos, 25% of 4 kilos, the outcome will be 22% of 10 kilos. As simple as that one. Okay, so this is a problem of... Uh, what they call this chemical engineering. So mixture problems under linear equations is actually chemical engineering problems. And the only concept needed in the formulation of the algebraic equation are these two concepts here. First component plus second component equal to the final mixture. For the first component, it will be the percentage times the quantity, percentage times the quantity, percentage times the quantity. As simple as that one. Okay. Good evening from Los Angeles. This is a topic on the mixture problems of solving linear equations. Good evening.